Hello everybody, this is Squirrels Rock 85 and let's go ahead and play some Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Okay, so the Animus is overheating. That's where we were left off at. I don't know if there's anything I can do in here. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. I can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. Uh huh. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad that he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, here at Abstergo, helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder if they weren't behind at all if they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nut jobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. Bastards. Wait a minute, my room is that my room? That's my room. I don't want to go in there right now.
That must be what makes the animus work. I can't go in there, that sucks. What the hell? Someone's been in here. like some kind of access code. I do that. Oh. Access denied. I needed that. Still no go, huh? So we'll just go to sleep. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. 
You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Uh -huh. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. So noisy. If the animus were a real Minister thing, you have freed to block your it, it would be a real pain sides. in the neck. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Nukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed. Arrogance. The slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. Uh -huh. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Yay! Happy times are here. I got a new ability. Catch ledge. A grab break and I can practice in the court. I don't need to practice. What would cause him to run like that? What's going on? What's he running from? Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Ah. Uh... Ah! Uh. 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 
I don't know which one's button three. Ensure your first attack is also your last. What's he running from? Um... But I want to ride the pony. When moving slowly, you reduce your chances of attracting unwanted attention. But I want to ride the pony. I didn't want to ride. I wanted to ride the pretty black one. Ah, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna be watched the whole fucking time. Here you go, pony. Why did you do that? The guards will take that sword from him. Uh. Ah, you seem to know exactly what you want. I like that. So. Come see what I have to offer. Where are... Welcome! I have everything you'll ever need! Oh, there they are. Come on, come on! Make I room! To sell. Don't worry. I just have, you know, two swords and some little blades attached to my sides. But seriously, I'm a scholar. J just a lowly scholar. I also wear boots because I have corns on my feet and it hurts. Uh, I'm just a scholar. Yep, J just a scholar. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Oh, and I'm missing a finger because it was a uh, bit off by a snake. Come, people. Come yeah. See what I have to offer. My good people, Stupid guards. I could have been injured from that. Sorry. How dare you? That was one of a kind. Come on, come on. I've much to say. You don't see me. He seems to be in a hurry. Yeah, I could have been dropped off with a beer if I wanted to, but I wanted to run. I'm 
break things. You have something to say? Yep, I said that. me if you can. I'm the little assassin man. Dude! Yeah, I know. The bureau's close. Did you really find me? Another minute and they would have made off with me. Yep, they would have. I owe you. You don't know um, me. Whatever. Whatever. I do what I want. I do what I want. That sure to be the mark. Now, owe you nothing, nowhere, no how. What is that man thinking? I'm thinking I need to climb this wall, sir. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. I beg of you. I beg of you just to keep going. I don't have a few coins. I have nothing. 
I am just a mere assassin who goes days without food and water. Find nothing. All right, I better get to the bureau. Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. What can you tell me about him? Oh, the merchant king of Damas. Richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. I do not care what the other stinkers say. I'm here to do a job. So I ask again, what can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of this city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his types, you'll learn all you need to know about him. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Souk Saruja, both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. All right, so that's it for this episode of Assassin's Creed. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be super awesome. Uh, but no matter what you do, have yourselves a great and wonderful day. And as always, may the squirrels be with you. Goodbye, everybody. Take care, and thanks for watching.